And to learn what is at stake in Chile's election, we are now joined live by journalist Marcelo Pazzi, based in La Paz, Bolivia. Thank you, Marcelo, for joining us. More than 1,300 candidates are competing to be among the 155 members of the Constitution Convention. Its mission will be to rewrite the country's dictatorship area constitution. Who are these candidates and which of them have the best chance to make it into the convention? Okay, uh, this is a very important moment in the history of Chile. It's uh, currently managed as a private company where there is a lot of money and uh, it will uh, uh, it it have to change and uh, about the the people who are participating um the right has the possibility of winning only uh, 30 percent um of the representation why the left winning uh, call win with a uh, 70 percent uh, however uh, what the right did it to articulate uh, in a single front while the left is going divided into a different groups such as the uh, concent uh, concentration uh, the humanist uh, the communist party etc etc is a uh, very different about bolivia uh, where the left the left wing uh, was uh, being united around the mass movimiento al socialismo and the right uh, was uh, really defeated and in bolivia the left wing ab around uh 55 percent in the last elections and marcelo what are people's expectations uh, regarding the new constitution and what candidates from left wing and right wing parties won it's a very important, uh, it's a very important moment in the history of Chile uh, because they have to change. Uh, Chile is like a private company where profits only go a privileged group, uh, while the vast majority are left and very little. Uh, Chile is not a private company. Chile is is, uh, is from the people, and it has to change. Um, it, it's very important in this moment because the new constitution uh, have to to have have to regulate the resource uh, such as the uh, waters, minerals, and the sea. Um, Currently, they complain that the water is serving only for the production, only for the export of products, and the benefits uh, don't go to directly to the people. Uh, they go to the transnationals. The same situation is with the minerals, with an other resource like the sea. Chileans, uh, have to to get the benefits of the of of their resource is it's a very important moment because Chile uh, it's a private company and in this moment has to be a a nation and like Bolivia we have uh, the control of our resource and it's uh, very good for for us. And uh, how this new constitution will be implemented, and what else has been done uh, to address the protest movement's demands? Well, it's a, it's a historic uh, moment in Chile, but the problem in this moment is uh, the low part participation of the people, and it's uh, very dangerous because if people don't participate in this election the right wing um will say uh, okay what's the problem the people is in the in the streets in the manifestation uh, and now it, no there is no people voting there is no people 
particip participate and i think it's a it's a very dangerous i i hope that this election the people uh, the chilean people has to participate all the people but if uh, a, a little people participate in this election uh, the right wing can uh, can say this uh, new constitution has no have no mm, no it, it's no important because uh, only little people uh, has participated in, in this election we want to thank you marcelo for joining us and we have we hope to have you again in the show next time that was marcelo pazzi a journalist based in bolivia